Hey there, thinkers. Welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is Est, and Deadline just dropped a list of 2023's biggest box office disasters, proving that ignoring your audience is a sunfire way to flop. Here's a shining example. When companies turn a deaf ear to their customers, their products end up in the trash, and audiences couldn't care less. So let's get into this. Now look who took a tumble. Disney's Haunted Mansion snags the number five spot. Now I'll admit, I have a soft spot for the original Eddie Murphy version. But did anyone even ask for this reboot? No, no. And to add insult to injury, they missed the mark by not releasing it during Halloween. Smart move, Disney. It's like they forgot the most basic rule of marketing. Well, that decision cost them a whopping 117 million. Talk about a flop. Nobody even noticed it was coming, and just like that, it came and went. Leaving Disney counting their losses, Haunted Mansion could have been a spooky success, but instead it's just another graveyard for wasted potential. Number 4 on the list was Disney's Wish, their not-so-subtle attempt to replicate the success of Frozen. Oh, they were so confident that this was going to be the next big thing. They even roped in Chris Pine to play the villain. But here's a free tip. Disney, when you prioritize trendy narrative over what your audience actually wants, you're setting yourself up for a spectacular flop. Wake up and smell the bad guy. We want villains like Scar. Not some softies singing about free rent and niceties. Needless to say, audiences weren't buying it and Wish crashed and burned at the box office, with a loss of $131 million. It's safe to say that Disney's attempt to recreate the magic of Frozen fell flat. Number three on the list was Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, flushing a cool $143 million down the drain. What a letdown. Phoebe Waller-Bridge shoving Harrison Ford aside? Seriously? This movie was a disaster right from the get-go. We were all hoping for one last epic adventure with Harrison Ford in the fedora, but no, no. Instead, we got the sad excuse for a farewell. It's downright tragic that this was Ford's final outing as Indy. A pathetic ending to a legendary character's story. And what's next for the franchise? Rumor of a TV series. Maybe even a reboot. Honestly, at this point, maybe it's best to let Indy retire in peace. With a loss of $143 million, I think it's safe to say that Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was one of the biggest box office disasters of the year. It's a shame that such an iconic character had to go out on such a sour note. Snagging number two was The Flash. Oh boy, this movie got buried under a mountain of problems, with the DCEU crashing and burning, the Ezra Miller controversies, and everyone's favorite pastime, hating the Warner Brothers. The Flash never stood a chance. It wasn't just the behind-the-scenes drama, the movie itself was a mess. Well, I won't say it was the absolute worst, because let's face it, it wasn't exactly a masterpiece either. Some of the CGI was, I guess, okay, and maybe Michael Keaton was pretty awesome, reprising his role as Batman, but even his charm couldn't salvage this train wreck. The Flash ended up losing a staggering $155 million, making it one of the biggest box office flops of the year. And with good reason. Let's just say we won't be holding our breath for a sequel. And the winner of the biggest cinematic disaster of 2023 goes to the Marvels. Oh my gosh. And what a mess this movie was. From start to finish, it went through more production changes than a diva on a bad day. First, it was supposed to be Captain Marvel 2, and then they thought, hey, let's turn this into a Disney Plus series. But wait, there's more. They changed their minds yet again and decided it should be a movie. And to top it off, instead of one insufferable woman, they thought, why not three? They turned it into some kind of a bizarre comedy with musical bits thrown in for good measure. It was a train wreck that failed to capture anything the MCU stood for. Let's face it, we've all given up on the MCU at this point, but the Marvels truly takes a cake as the worst piece of MCU content ever made. It managed to lose $237 million, making it the biggest box office flop of the year. So don't hold your breath for Marvels 2 or Captain Marvel 3 or whatever disaster they come up with next. Looks like the MCU has hit a major roadblock. There's no clear direction anymore. And honestly, I'm not sure they'll dig themselves out of this mess. Disney's epic box office fails in 2023 is just the tip of the iceberg. And let's be real. Their 2024 lineup doesn't look any more promising. Maybe it's time for Disney to clean house, starting with Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy. Out with the old and in with the, well, who knows. But let's face it, finding somebody competent at Disney lately is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's a rough patch for Disney and Hollywood in general, but enough doom and gloom. 
Now, there are some rumors swirling that Brie Larson has had enough of Disney. She's reportedly ready to ditch her cape as Captain Marvel, and honestly, I don't think many of us would really shed a tear over that. They really tried to make Carol Danvers a big deal, but let's face it, she never quite soared to the superhero heights they were hoping for. Despite their efforts, Captain Marvel never really took off like they hoped, and even though Disney seems dead set on pushing forward the MCU and introducing new characters like Miss Marvel and Cassie Lang, it doesn't quite seem like the Young Avengers are going to save the day. Looks like Disney's superhero franchise needs a little more than a superhero landing to save it. However, that's all I've got for today's video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And hey, before you go, subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. As always, this is Est, and I'm signing off now. So I will see you in the next one. Toodles!